Finton has a goal opportunity, but you know, over the 70 minutes, you know, I have to take my head off to me. They're a better team. You know, we we don't do excuses, so I'd be just wishing them well. We've had we've had scary moments um, all year. We played Dublin here in the league, and we were 12 points down after after a couple of minutes, and we were in London, and we we had a scare there. Four points down each of our championship matches, and we've come back in every single one of those games. So you know, there's there's talk of second half teams and all that kind of stuff, but we're up there with, with any of them. And um, look, we're just delighted today, and uh, we'll we'll move on. Kevin, all of the pundits got this one badly wrong. Tell us what it means to Mayo to win this one. Well, I suppose when you're not expecting it, when it's against the head, you get a, a massive reaction. But I, I, you know, I, I said this to you during the week. I would say in the camp, they were quite quietly confident. It was pitched. Brilliantly for underdogs. Cork had a massive win last weekend. They had serious injury problems and they don't need the week uh, to recover. Uh, whereas Mayo had the chance to focus and get ready for them. So a lot of things were going for Mayo, but they had to get a performance. I think the greatest thing they will take for, uh, out of today's match will be after 10 minutes, at a, a wobbly opening 10 minutes, you know, the penalty, which I totally disagreed with, I thought it was a joke of a penalty. Um, but thereafter, once they settled, <coughs> for a full hour of sustained Mayo play. And, and I was talking to a friend today who suggested that was possibly the first time in many, many years that Mayo played for a full hour of intensity. Uh, the, the second half concessions, James, is absolutely right. They're very, very low for, from this Mayo team. They defend extremely well. You saw a lot of heart. I think that's... The crowd didn't travel. The Mayo crowd didn't travel. I think the result... They, they'll, they'll still be a little tempered by the fact that it's Curry next. That will keep everybody with their feet on the ground. But it is a great... A great uh, victory for Mayo today. Thoroughly deserved. Pat, one tweeter asking, what odds would you have given on Cork only getting one point in the second half? Well, you've got to... I mean, first of all, remember, it wasn't a major, major shock. This was a Division 1 side facing a Division 1 side. Mayo looked good and held their place in Division 1, so it wasn't a major shock. And during the Connacht Championship, it mightn't have been poor quality, but Mayo showed signs, particularly in the second half of those games, that they were a damn good team. And where they've really improved this year, Des, is in their defending. And their defending is not the blankets, it's not bodies back behind the ball. It's simple man-to-man -man defending. And it's defending... The, he, I've picked out a few clips of just excellent defending. Watch this, goal chance for Paul Kerrigan. And look at that for a wonderful block down by Keith Higgins. Again, look at how patient they are. They're shadowing the guy. They're keeping the forward outside. You must always remain goal side. They're not committing themselves to the tackle. Look, they're waiting. They're patient. There's no fouling. There's one-on-one. -on -one. They're forcing the Cork players back out the field. And watch this, a good old tradition. Mm. Kerrigan going straight through, and he's met with a fair, solid shoulder, fair... And again, watch this again. It's, it, it's, if you can't get to the ball first, you get a hand in. And here they were getting a hand in. And if that's the full forward, Alan Freeman back. Again, same story. If you can't get to the ball first, you get a hand in. You don't let him clean possession and then work it out. And again, the same story here. Trevor Mortimer, who had a great, who's had a great season since he converted. Look, slipped, came back. John Miskela on the goal line, and he doesn't foul him. And watch, there's good patience. There's three or four fellas around him. He kicks it wide. And again, the same story. Look. Watch this clip, no fouling, two or three fellas surrounding the Paul Kerrigan on the ball and a free out. And, and the statistics don't lie, they conceded two points in the second half against Galway, one point in the second half against Roscommon, one point in the second half today. Four of Cox starting forwards got no score from play. It was a tremendous performance by Mayo, a deserved victory, but defensively.